Hello friends how are you all hope you are good It's been more than a year that we have been in homes kids with their online classes professional working from home elder one needs their space to watch tv or relax To meet the need of our we thought of converting our balcony in home office where my husband gets his own space to work and attend meetings without disturbance we closed our balcony partially where we have windows for ventilation in feb we did the woodwork this is the office this is the wall opposite to the desk which i wanted to create a space where we can stretch our legs and relax still you can work my concept for this is to create a zen space a small garden with soothing water sound which makes you feel calm so let's start i had selected this picture for the back wall which i'm going to draw first let's draw the outline by pencil once done I'm using oil pastel colors to give stone effect. steps spread the color for outline i'm using acrylic color board lotus just outlined i'm not filling the color to complete the picture i'm adding gold circle with flat brush for today's diy i had taken old clay pot to give it a new look first we will color the pot with cream color I have this left over wall paint which I am using. You can use any acrylic paint. Once dried, we will draw pattern in light ochre color. To add more detail by using permanent marker. A second part The base color is grey. I will add line pattern in cream color. Now let's start doing some interesting simple painting. Those who don't like to draw or paint, they can use this easy painting trick. Take a printout which has less field colors. I am saying which has simple lines, so that after taking printout, you can add little bit of color, like this. I cut this printout in circle, pasted in a paper plate, pasted on a paper plate. Add some border to finish the picture. It will be ready in no time. Stick with double tape. you can use mod podge for better lasting finish now let's do the zen garden i had taken this square tray which i got ready while doing the woodwork 
You can use any tray, plastic or ceramic, of any size. On one side of the tray, I will put the artificial grass mat, which I had cut according to the size. In the center, some sand and on both the sides, pebbles. This is a waterfall which I had bought a couple of years back and I am going to use this. It's a little bit big. My suggestion will be buy the water feature according to the size of your tree or pot in which you can place it. In the tree, I am adding some small succulent artificial plants. A Buddha, a showpiece, and a bird. I want the water body to look as a same part of the tree body. So, to hide the gap, I'm adding some stones. Now let's add some fresh plants. Now let's add some height. On the wall, I'm placing the DIY paintings. Let's hang some lamps in which you can place candles or fairy lights. They will look great in evening. These are glass jars in which I had added some sand couple pebbles and a small plant. Hang it with string and a very cute mini planter is ready. Moving to the sitting area, let's place a mat on which we will arrange some cushions. Let's add some small details. Here, I am filling the gap with pebbles. Place the DIY vase with some artificial flowers. This is a foldable table. I will decorate it with an artifact. Our DIY was with flowers and some books. Here is our completed final look.
in night with lights I love this space here. I can sit quietly and do my artwork. This is another alternative for the city arrangement. All the items which I used to create this space I had with me for some time. So, I will add the links of the items which are similar to these in the description box. Hope you like today's video. Let me know your view about this space in comment box. Please do subscribe my channel.